Hi everyone! Today I have a fun box project using the Turtle Friends stamp set. Let me get the page. Oh, that's not even the current catalog. Let's try this one. Here is the Turtle Friends stamp set and coordinating um, punch. Lots of awesome sentiments and the turtles are so cute. So to get started, I have a piece of um, mint macaron that's five and a half by four and a quarter. So we're going to score that first. So you can use your simply scored board or um, your paper trimmer. And on the short side, I'm going to score at half an inch, one and a quarter. and three and three quarters. And then we're gonna rotate it and score at three quarters, two and a half, three and a quarter, and five. So that is what all your score lines will look like. So again, on the short side is half an inch, one and a quarter, three and three quarters, and then rotate it and you have three quarters, two and a half, three and a quarter, and five. So we'll fold on all those score lines. Now I'm going to look at it like this. So this is gonna be the top flap that goes into the box for closing. And this is the bottom. So on the bottom section, actually I wanna cut it like this. On the bottom section, we'll cut up all those score lines. Cut this one at an angle. Cut these two tabs at angles. And this one also at an angle. Just so that when you fold your box together, there aren't any extra little edges hanging out. So that's what the bottom looks like. Then on the top, we're gonna angle this and cut this full tab off. And the next one, we're going to cut that little tab off and make this into a tab. And cut that a little better. There we go. So now we have one tab. Then this is going to be a tab as well. So cut down, cut this off and angle cut those. And then this one, I'm just going to angle cut. So now we have our template. So this is what it's going to look like when you fold it together. And then, so we just need to put adhesive on this section here. I'm going to put it on this tab. There we go. So now I can fold this flat and then just take this and we'll push down and it will glue it all together for us. Then on the bottom tabs, I like to put a little bit of glue on each tab just to hold it down on the inside of the box. And then on this tab, Then that folds in, and let's get what we're putting in it. These little um, Excel mints—they're the perfect color, and I 
designed this box to fit them perfectly. So there we go. Here is our little box of mints. Now to decorate it, I have two... Oh, this must be my extra kit because I have extra ones. I have two pieces of Whisper White that I've embossed with the brick embossing folder. So I'm going to put one on each side. You wouldn't have to do the back, but it makes it look complete when you have the front and the back decorated. Now I have um, a scrap of So Saffron and a scrap of Misty Moonlight. And on the So Saffron, I'm going to stamp our turtle in Memento Black. And then in Misty Moonlight on Misty Moonlight cardstock, I'm going to stamp the turtle shell. I've noticed that on this turtle stamp, the ribs in between the little spots aren't very deep. So you kind of have to be, you just set it on your ink pad to get the ink. And then I am rocking it just a little bit so that you're not pushing too hard and having where there isn't um, the raised part where the spots are. So that part doesn't hit your ink pad. If I push on my ink pad, you can see right away there's a lot of ink on all of those ribs that you don't want it. So you barely have to touch it. And then there's a sentiment in here called Hello Little One. And we're just going to use the hello. And I also stamped that in Mint Macaron. So I'll just cut the little hello part out. just right tight to the word there and then this shell we do have to fussy cut but it's easy it's rounded edges and if you didn't want to fussy cut this part you could just stamp his shell right on the so saffron cardstock but that was easy. Then for the turtle, we have a punch for that. I'm just going to get a sticky note here because my scrap just isn't big enough to hold. And that gives you a little handle to move him around. And punch him out. Now I'll add his shell up on a dimensional. And the little turtle, oh, before I do that. And you'll have to watch, sometimes you get a piece of your little post-it note, you don't want that to stay on your project. With glue dots, I'm going to put three glue dots across his back just like that so I have three in a row then I'm going to take my ribbon and this is our soft succulent ribbon put that just underneath him just like that then I'll add my dimensionals it'll hold that ribbon and my turtle in place I'm going to do three to make sure that that section stays down. Add that right in the middle of our box. And then our little tiny hello is going to go in this bottom left corner of his shell. Just like that. Isn't that a fun, cute box to just have in your purse, ready to go, hand out at the bank, give it to your friends? Um, hopefully they're not thinking that they have bad breath because you're giving them mints, but I think the little box makes up for it. Um, 
as just a fun little thing to have in your bag. I hope you liked my video. If you're interested in a Turtle Friends online camp, um, they're just pre-recorded videos. You don't have to be somewhere at a specific time. Um, they come in class packets like this. This month is five cards, or four cards and two boxes, I think. Now I don't remember. I think four cards and two boxes. And you get the stuff that's in the boxes as well. So you get the mints. And then my other box was this long um, bread box container. So there's um, chocolate turtles in there. They are missing there's one. It has a set of three turtles in there. Um, you get the stuff that's in the box as well. Um, if you are interested in that, just message me or email me and I can send you the um, payment details and get your mailing address and ship out kits. I have kits ready right now. Next month is the Plentiful, Plentiful Plant Suite. Um, that class is five cards and a 3D. So if you're interested in that, you can pre-message me and I'll have kits ready to go um, mid-July. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.